Hi guys, so what we're going to be moving on to today guys is uh, the oblique plane guys, okay, um, a few little tricky bits on this topic alright as we progress through it, but uh, we'll just take it step by step and we'll see how we get on alright, but firstly what we're going to actually do is just a little bit of recap on uh, line geometry okay, so it says here on question one it says given are the plan and elevation of a line okay it says construct an auxiliary view that shows the true length of this line and its inclination to the horizontal plane okay and then produce a point view of that line okay so first of all i'm just going to label the line all right i'm going to label this point on the line i'm going to label that a top point up here i'm going to label that b then directly below it, obviously in my plan view of the line, I'm going to have A here, and then B will be down here. Okay, so what we have here is an elevation view of a line and a plan view of a line. And if we look at it there, okay, the elevation view up here, that's on the vertical plane, so it's like on our wall. If you're looking straight at the wall, that's the view of the line you're going to see in it, okay? And we can see that it's like when I'm holding a pen here, and if I was looking straight at the pen, this is what I'd see, okay? I understand now, as you see it here in the camera, it looks like you're looking down top of the pen. But as I'm looking at it there, technically what I see straight at it there now is kind of my view of the pen, okay? Right there, all right? And the idea then is, okay, it's inclined as well to the horizontal plane, okay? So if we take the horizontal plane as being the ground, technically at this moment in time, okay, it's at an angle to the ground where this bit of the pen, okay, where the top of the pen, the cap, is actually up high, which is where B is, okay and a which is where the pen tip is down low okay now it's not obviously touching the the ground okay or the page at the moment as we can see it's a little bit off the ground okay and then if we look at the plan view of it okay we can see it's actually tilted as well at an angle so really it actually is something like this that's exactly the line there that we would have all right and the question they're actually asking us is what angle is in here between the pen and going down to the ground they want us to know what that angle is we want to find out what that angle is to the horizontal plane the horizontal plane being the ground okay so first of all when we're doing that the way you would actually do this question is we need to get the true length of that line now in neither view here this view or the plan view the elevation or the plan can we see the true length of the line okay because as i said it's kind of at an angle the only way i could see the true length is if i came and i looked at it perpendicular to it okay so that's what we're actually going to do. We are going to set up an X1, Y1, okay, perpendicular, okay, uh, to the line AB, okay, here in our plan view, because that's the one where we'll be able to see its inclination to the horizontal plane, okay? If we wanted to see its inclination to the vertical plane, we would have to project an X1, Y1 off at AB in elevation. So, AB lined up there, I'm going to set up an X1, Y1, like that. All right, an X1, Y1, and what I'm going to do then is, perpendicular to that, I'm going to project out A and B. And remember, if we project from the plan, you take your heights from the elevation, okay? So A and B, just going to send them out there now. Uh, a doesn't have to come out that far, because I can see the height of it up there, it's not too far. So probably just send it out maybe about as far as there. And B has to go a little bit higher, so just bring that one out a little bit further. Maybe out to about there, and that should do me. All right. Uh, what I will do at this point is I am just going to connect up a line between A and A, just just to show you that they are in line with each other, and the exact same with B and B. Okay. But the reason I'm actually doing that, okay, they're just construction lines. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to get an accurate distance from my heights. So I project it from the plan, okay, uh, therefore take my heights from the elevation. So from the XY line up to B, I'm going to take that distance there, and that's for the B one. I come down to B, move out to my X1, Y1, and mark that distance out, okay, and do the exact same for A, okay. There is other ways we could actually get the true length by using the uh, principle of cones, okay, and we'd rotate it about until it's parallel with uh, one of the principal planes. But they've asked us for an auxiliary view here, so that's what we'll do. Take the distance for A, come down to A on the X1, Y1, mark it out. And what I've actually found here now is what would be known as A1 here, and this is B1. And what I've actually found here now, guys, once I connect the two of them up, is the true length of the line AB. 
and now it is I'm calling it A1B1 because we're doing an auxiliary view so I'll just write that there now true length so essentially what I've actually found there is X1 Y1 is actually my ground line so if I was just to extend that out and if I was to extend this out okay I'm not going to attach it on but I'm just going to do it lightly so you can see it there what I've actually found in here is its inclination the angle it has I'm going to put it in like that okay the angle it has to the horizontal plane okay that is its inclination to the horizontal plane as we would see it okay uh, now next thing is it said produce a point view of that line okay so if I have a pen and I know the true length okay so let's just we'll go away from this question for a second and I face that pen like that it's not tilted at an angle okay see so none of you in the camera at the moment can see it as a true length okay but if I rotate it around like that now we can all see it's a true length okay and the reason for that is is because it is parallel with the table surface underneath it okay therefore it's parallel with the horizontal plane which is my table at this moment in time we know the length from the tip to the end okay now if I want to see that pen as a point view what I actually need to do is I need to go over here and look in along the tip of it okay I need to look in along the true length of it okay I have to look along the true length so if I do this and I turn it around to you in the camera now now technically I know we can obviously see the cap but technically that's the point view of that true length okay so what that means is very simply we've got the true length I am now going to do a second auxiliary view probably just down here okay I'll do it just down here or I could do it up here it's absolutely fine I could do it in either place but I'll do it down here so I'll just uh, move this down slightly so I've got a little bit more room and you can just about see the top of the line B still there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a second auxiliary view all right so look at my line I'm going to line up my 45 degree line or my 45 degree sets granite rotate it around I'm going to set up an x2 y2 this is known as it's another auxiliary view basically I've just taken and I've set up another plane and having set that up I will now project out the line AB along that okay let's make sure it's accurate there we go and A and B will project out along there okay and as we can see A and B are on the same line all right and what we do is when we do a second auxiliary view you take the distances from the last x y line back and our last x y line was the x1 y1 so I'll take the distance from x1 y1 to a which as you can see is the same distance there as b there okay so they both work come down to where a and b are down here go to my x2 y2 mark it off and at that point right there that would now be called a2 b2 okay because technically a and b are both on the same point okay and that there now it would actually be my point view okay some important principles there guys um taking an auxiliary view to get the true length of a line okay and also in respect to that being able to get uh, the inclination of that to the horizontal plane okay and understanding which one we would have to have used okay so we use the plan view of the line to be able to get the inclination to the horizontal plane once we have the true length anytime you look along a true length you'll be able to see a line as a point view okay now what we're going to do is i'm just going to move over my visualizer i'm going to do the next question here okay so I'll try and fit it all it's quite big question on the page but there we go that's just about all fitting so next question here it says given out the plan and elevation of a line construct an auxiliary an auxiliary view that shows once again the true length of the line and its inclination this time to the vertical plane okay so this time we're doing the same thing only it's the opposite all right last time we said projected an x y an x1 y1 an auxiliary view from the plan view of the line this time we're doing it from the elevation view of the line okay um and then project the point view of that line once again okay so once again I'll label my lines uh, this time I'm going to call them C and D C and D and then this will be C and D okay so first of all I'm getting the true length of the line by looking perpendicular to the line in my elevation this time so I'm going to set up an X1 Y1 parallel to that line first of all So an X1, Y1, 
So having set that up, I'm now going to project out perpendicular. So note that around. Just move my set square there a little bit. There we go. So same concept, D isn't out too far. And C, my, my C line is actually my one. So right there, let's do it this way. Visualizer is just getting in the way slightly. There we go. Okay, so now I've got C. I'm going to project those distances down from my plan. Okay, so I've got to measure those down. Once again, just going to use my sets words to get the lines accurate. So C down. See that it was lining up and the exact same with D. And now I'll be able to take accurate distances. So from C to my XY line, or XY line to C, I should probably say. And then come up to where C is here, and then out to my X and Y one, mark it out. That now is going to become C1, and the exact same for D. That distance there, out to here. And there we go. That is C1. This is D1. And once I connect the two of them up, I have then found the true length of a line. Okay. And if I was to extend out that and bring this down as well, but I'll just put it in here. That there is the angle of inclination to the horizontal or to the vertical plane. So inclination. to VP, okay, and I'm going to write in here TL for true length, okay, I should have probably written it over here, so I'll write it in, just so you know as well, inclination to horizontal plane, HP, okay, uh, at this point now, what we want to do is we want to see that line once again as a true, or sorry, as a point view, so we're going to look along it, okay, we're going to look along that line, so we're going to set up an X1, Y1, or an X2, Y2, another auxiliary view. So, just sit it about there. Bring it down here so it's kind of out of the way. That there is now called an X2, Y2. It doesn't have to be that long. And at this point then, I'm going to project out my C1 and D1. Okay, so they're out there along somewhere. And once again, you measure from the last x, y line back. So x2, the next one back is x1, y1. And we know that the distance from x1, y1 to d is the same as the distance from x1, y1 to c. So move that out, project it out, and there we go. And that now will become c2, d2, and that is a point view. Okay, right there. There we go guys, that was just a little bit of recap guys on auxiliaries and getting the true lengths of lines. Hope you found that useful. Uh, they're fairly quick questions, but very, very, very important principles, okay, that you need to know, okay?